What is going on everybody? So today I'm gonna to take you guys to a really cool aquarium. Uh, you don't really see uh, many of these tanks anymore. You know, now everybody's going with the new style like Red Sea, Rimless Aquariums, but this is a throwback to the past. Really cool, unique, custom made aquarium. I just, you know, anytime I come across these types of tanks, I'd love to share it with you guys. So we're gonna do that in a second, but first I'm gonna to head to the shop uh, because I have customers that need fish and um, gotta go bag them up. So I'll see you at the shop. We have a bunch of stuff we're bringing to customers today, buckets, full of fish and coral and invertebrates. All right, so here we are at the customer's house right now. I got the fish all ready to go. We'll bring them inside, show you guys the aquarium that I'm talking about and uh, get these fish acclimated. All right, so I got the bags right here and I just wanted to show you guys what we're gonna be putting in, in the tank. This right here is a bar goby, really pretty fish. I really love the blue with the pink stripes on it. We got three of these going in that tank and these guys are pretty good size i'd say they're about three and a half to four inches so they get a little bit bigger than that but three of these in this tank will look amazing um, and they kind of shoal together so they kind of stick together so and they're they should stay out in the water column so they should be consistently present and you can see the fins when they raise their fins they're they're actually that much more cool to look at and then we're rehoming this little mandarin dragon net. He went through quarantine, we fattened him up a bit, but this tank is, I think, the perfect uh, aquarium for a fish like this. It's big, there's a lot of rocks, there's a lot of copepods in there, and I think this this fish will really um, benefit by being in this aquarium. And then lastly, we're gonna be adding this conch to the aquarium as well. Their sand's looking a little, uh, it's a little rough, so we'll add this conch and it'll help clean up the sand. But more importantly, this is what they wanted. They like cool inverts, so this definitely fits that description. So here at our first stop of the day, this is a cylinder tank that we recently got this uh, past six months, I'd say. And we picked up this account because she was dealing with some marine velvet that was killing her fish. She didn't know what to do, so we came in. We uh, helped take care of the tank, and we were able to save, I think, three of the eight fish that were in here, fortunately, now there is no disease left in this aquarium so it is time to start restocking a tank she definitely wants more fish in here so that's why i chose some fish that i thought were pretty hardy for this tank uh, that should do well you know just to start us off here i want things that are going to be very hardy and durable and then we can go to you know trying more uh harder to take care of fish but uh yeah i, I think putting the appropriate size fish in here we can get a lot in this tank and i think being that it's a cylinder we can get a we, we need a lot of movement here and we can make this thing look really cool and you guys can see it's right by the stairs so uh you know it's and it's right in front as you walk in the door so you know we want this thing looking really nice and the corals are doing great uh so far too now i've acclimated all the fish this is the mandarin dragonette which is an absolutely beautiful fish i think will do really well in this tank and this is a well-established aquarium. It's mature, so there should be plenty of pods, and we'll add some more as we go. Adding the striped blennies now. Everybody's acclimated, put them in. And, uh, yeah, another fish. This is an aquacultured fish, so that should be hardy. Hey, we got them in, and they look amazing. See the two striped blennies, two firefish, bar gobies, blue hippo tangs coming out to see what's going on. Just missing one of the bar gobies, which I'm pretty sure will come out in a minute. But that is really cool. Coral beauty there. Yeah, so we're adding fish to this tank now, and hopefully we can get a little more life to it. It becomes a little bit more exciting, but I think the addition of these bar gobies is awesome. See how they stay out there in the water column? So awesome. And we got some nice color with the yellow with the striped blennies, and the red and white with the firefish. Everybody in, looking good. And the three bar gobies. All three of them are there towards the back. One, two. There's a third one right there, right by the two clownfish. And they look amazing in this tank. Really, really good. We got a coral beauty, blue hippo tang, also in this tank, so we got room for a lot more fish. And our, our uh, sea cucumbers already moved along. But yeah, everything looks great. Corals look great, fish look great, rock looks great, not a lot of algae. Really happy with the way things are progressing. Really good flow in this tank too. 
All right, so I'm really happy with the way uh, those fish look in that tank. I can't wait to put more fish in there. If you have any suggestions for fish that you think would work good in that tank, let me know down in the comments. But let's go ahead and go to the uh, tank that I wanted to show you guys from the beginning. And I'll see you there. All right, so here we are at the customer's house. And I'm really excited to show you guys this tank because it's kind of like an aquarium that is like no other. I haven't really seen, I haven't come across too many tanks like this. And uh, anytime I do, I like to share it with you. And uh, so you guys can see what I get to see. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. But this is like, this is definitely a uh, throwback, unique type of aquarium. So uh, let's head inside right now and I'll show you uh, everything that's cool about this tank. All right, so here we are at the customer's house. And just look at the size of this tank. This thing is massively long. Uh, excuse the dogs. Uh, <laughs> they are not happy I'm here. But look at this thing. Now we've been taking care of this tank for I think going on a year now. We did not set this uh, tank up. This was a used tank. Somebody else set it up, but we took over service. Now the lights are just about to go off so you can see some of the corals are a little retracted, but um, it's not crazy amount of corals in here yet, but you got some uh, gorgonians, you got a rock flower anemone. All the fish in here are from us, all quarantined. That's a striped blenny. You have a, uh, what is that? Is that a, I think that's a dotty back. Yeah, it's a dotty. Is it? Dotty back right there. I thought it was a black cat basilet for a second. Green spotted puffer, big boy, he's happy. Another little small puffer. Now this is a perfect tank for these puffers. Look how much room they have and all this different rock work in there that they can kind of swim in, um, in and out of. They're so happy in this tank. Also had a coal tank blending in right there in the, in the um, hole of that cave. There's also a little baby blue hippo tank in here somewhere which hopefully will come out. Black cap basilet. So all these, there's not a ton of fish in here. There's room for a ton more. Oh, we have, a, we have an angel fish right there. There's room for a ton more fish, which we plan on doing, but we're taking it slow. We just recently had to let this tank go fallow because um, it had fish disease in it and they um, gave up a lot of their fish just because they're in bad shape. We quarantined them or whatever. And then we just kind of restarted the tank, let it stay fallow for 90 days. And then we are just now restocking it. So we've just been doing some basic stuff, some hardy stuff, the clownfish and everything that I showed you. And then we're gonna, um, continue that process and get this tank completely full with fish a lot of them are hiding because i can see a bangai cardinals over there um, right now because i'm here to do the service so they're kind of skittish one thing if you have fish that are skittish that aren't coming out a lot the more fish you put in here the more uh, comfortable and more uh, brave those fish will be the more fish in a tank the, the more you'll see them more than likely look at this and enemy's just getting ripped by the power head <laughs> That's too much flow. For whatever reason, the anemone ended up there. I might try to peel him off there and move him somewhere better so he's not getting hit with so much flow. That's a really pretty blue mushroom rock. Wow. Got some green mushrooms right there. Got some cool little algaes growing in the back. Yeah, this is a definitely a unique, a unique tank. And then they made this themselves right here on the lip of the cabinetry. They have all these seashells that they have collected kind of over here and they're on there pretty good. But yeah. Got a firefish coming out to greet us. It looks so small in this giant aquarium. I want to say this aquarium is about uh, 12 feet uh, from side to side. You see a little blue hippo tank poking its head out. But I mean, this honestly, this size tank is exactly what I would want for myself. This is like my dream size aquarium, 12 feet, because I don't want to have any like really big fish. Uh, I just want a bunch of like reef style fish. And I mean, you could just, this is just so cool. I mean, if you look at one end of this tank all the way to the other, the tank's a little cloudy because I just did a water change, but like that's a lot of swimming room. There's a lot that can go on in this tank. Like there's just so much that you could put in here. There's so many little areas that you could kind of create so much uh, different little ecosystems within the ecosystem that you can get in here. Um, I, I'm glad we picked up this customer. I'm glad that we're going to be able to, uh, you know, make this tank look amazing. Now we got to make some upgrades to the, to the filtration. Um, there's plenty of room down here. That's the good thing. So that will be easy enough. So what do you guys think of the aquarium? Like I said before, 
you don't see tanks like this anymore. They're very rare. Everybody's going to the new, um, you know, uh, rimless type of aquarium and you don't see these uh the, the cabinet aquariums anymore the old school type of tanks anymore and uh i still think that they're kind of you know neat and they, they they still have a place in this hobby but i'd i'd be curious to hear what you guys have to uh, say about this tank uh let me know down in the comments Whew, it's getting hot out here um all right i'm off to the next shot see you in the next one